So the 5.1 Genshin special program is finally behind us and all the things that quite literally everyone already knew anyway just got confirmed by two NPCs. Huh? Anyway, besides that we have some amazing characters, reruns, events, features, so let's start. Yeah, of course, Shilonen is here. The one spoken of in the prophecies. The one to power creep every support in the game. What are you doing? So following the new Nautilant trend, Shilonen 2 has Exploration 8. That looks like a faster version of Kachina. As well as, of course, dancing. Now, I don't want to sound pessimistic or anything, but who do these newbies think they're impressing? And we've already seen the rising of Giga Chat Lord Thiago. In the first phase, we're getting the debut of Shilonen along with Chiori's rerun, and in the second phase marks the rerun of Nahida and Hu Tao. I already feel bad for her. Of course, since Hoyoverse ditched the story quest this season, we'll get another three-act munch pack of Tribal Chronicle quests that you have to finish in time to collect the extra reward. Moving on to the events, this patch will be returning to Sumeru for the share of the main event with the birthday celebration of the best arc on Nahida. Imagine your first birthday celebration being delayed for 500 years. Regardless, along with the story, we're getting the standard Hoyoverse routine of other games event formula. Seriously, after Zuma Dealers, Bomberman, Dead by Daylight, now we're getting Subway Surfer. Guys, imagine you're a Hoyo developer and while putting assets on the map, you make a teeny tiny oopsie and fuck up the entire location. Now you have all these assets spread in this 2x2 location and have to basically bug fix the shit by getting rid of all the abnormalities. They turned that into an event. So yeah, this is supposedly some dream world and we basically do exactly that. Inception our way out for primo gems along with these totally original new ideas we of course have the return of the old goals of combat events beat the crap out of them in time beat the crap out of them with buffs and the best one yet beat the crap out of them in co-op other than that we also have a new event in Natlan where we hunt certain creatures infected by the abyss and then you guessed it beat the crap out of them also the goat himself will be returning this patch living the uncle primo gems return to once again literally fulfill the vision of rahul gandhi <laughs> Moving on to the features, we're getting more of that real thing they brought in the Imaginarium Theater, this time with Zhongli and Kiching, two characters that I don't even have. And of course the extra 500 Prevo gems for the Archon Quest thing is returning along with one for exploration this time. That's right, good news for you Roger, for exploring Natlan up to 80% in the given time, we'll now receive up to extra 400 Primo gems. But don't worry, that given time is actually pretty generous. This extra reward will remain available until 5.2, so I think that's good enough time. But can still not be the case depending upon the player. Hoyovers for some reason just doesn't seem to understand our request for a skip button as they're adding features to skip other things like anything but the dialogue. Now we have a feature that allows you to just skip flows 9 and 10 of the abyss and just claim the rewards. Pretty good right? Well, there are conditions obviously. If you get 9 stars on the 11th floor of the previous cycle of the abyss, you can skip and claim the rewards of floor 9. If you do the same for floor 12, you can skip and claim floor 10. Meaning, if you 36 star the abyss, you can make full use of this feature. All in all, I don't really mind but don't really see that much of a need for this either. Speaking of abyss, you know those artifact boxes we get for clearing floors beyond 8 reliquaries? Now, instead of spam clicking them until your fingers broke, we can just claim a bunch of them at once. Now this is a good feature. And speaking of good features, this one just really helps out blind people like me who can't for the love of god find the right material in the craft menu now you can pick a character in the drop down options i assume it's gonna be the active character and see all the materials related to this character as well as required right there for your convenience now this is a great feature Speaking of great features, now the artifacts filter option will remember the filters you have applied so when you return you wouldn't have to apply them again. Now this is a okay feature. I'm still waiting for the different build slots for every character. Other than that, we're also getting a new boss dropped somewhere in the map I guess since there's no map expansion. And that was everything from Hoyoverse. Aside from all this stuff of course we'll get the next part of the Archon quest and I'm really excited about that. For some reason Hoyoverse has been going really hard to making every Mawika seem the most hype shit ever. And I'm all for it. Also, there was this great animation piece depicting our journey up to this point because the anniversary and all. If you haven't watched it yet, I'd recommend you do because if nothing else, the song was pretty banger. Thanks a lot for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and please share it with all your Genshin friends. I'll be making other videos related to future Genshin content as well as the upcoming banners and their full full value. So subscribe. I also stream Genshin Impact right here on YouTube. So join my next live stream. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.